start out with um, the very first question. You can add F. Here, yeah, I'll, I'll read this to you. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, what was your name at birth? At birth. Um, Nuevo Saquero Gloria Usher. Oh, I didn't know that. I mm -hmm. thought you were going to say Gloria Allen. <laughs> well, it's at birth. birth. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, oh, uh, good. Okay. Um, where and in what year were you born? <laughs> Where? Um. Ghetto. Gitran was ghetto. Yeah. What's the next word? What's the oh. word? And uh. The and date? in what year were you born? Just the year. Also, uh, 1915. January 3rd. Oh. And what does that mean in English? Um, I was born in Ketchikan, year called uh, 1915. Oh, I've never heard somebody say that in Simshan before. Mm -hmm. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, who, uh, who were you raised by? Um, Nebibu and uh, gee, I forgot oh, Auntie. Auntie. Your uncle and aunt? Yeah. I can't get it. Okay. What were their names? Henry and Louise Boo. Oh. Okay. Um, how many brothers and sisters did you have? Four Klunk Diu brothers and four uh, sisters. Yeah, yeah. I had it all. It's okay. It's okay. Well, you know, if you, if it, um, as we're going along, if um, some phrases or words come back to you, um, just let us know, and then you could say them, okay? Because it always happens that way. Go, four, go. Oh, numbers. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, we were wondering how to say aunt and shemalia. We didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what were your brothers and sisters' names? My sister is Lucy, Maggie. Sarah and Marilyn. Oh, and did you have brothers also? My brothers is Fred, Pete, Eddie. That's all. Oh. Who did you marry? Good, <laughs> you attack <take> well. <laughs> <laughs> that man over there. <laughs> this little man here, <laughs> Romeo Allen. Let's pause for a minute so uh, the phone call to be pushed to push record again and it will pause. We'll pause until... I okay, we'll start it again and the next question will be um, what were your children's names, okay? Okay. Okay, did you push... Um, yeah. Do you have it going? Okay, I'll, I'll get this going again. Okay. What were your children's names? Um... Kukum Yuyu, uh, Herbert Burton, and Wilfred Burton. Did you have any daughters? I am. What does that mean? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, what clan do you belong to? Lucky. Oh, and what does that mean? Eagle. Oh, 
eagle. Um, were you adopted into any other clans? Um, what did she say? Oh, were you adopted into any other clans or tribes? I am. Oh, no. Okay. Sometimes some people will tell us that they've been adopted by their best friends uh -huh. into other tribes. So we like to ask that, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, were you ever given an Indian name? I am. I no. No. Okay. Uh, do you remember anybody else being called by Indian names when you were little? Your friends and relatives, did they have nicknames that were Indian names? No. Yeah. Okay. My um, nephew Tom, Thomas, Uncle Oscar used to call him uh, something like Depsh, but I think it was how he used to say that how they would try to say Tom Simpson. Oh, Depsh David. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then my mom calls the the guy at the A N H clinic the um, pharmacist. She calls him something. In um, Simshan, I think she just turns the R. Oh, Robert, Labert, <laughs> Labert. <laughs> but that's not really an Indian name, is it? <laughs> okay. Shimglish. <laughs> Simshan, uh, they do that. It's like slang. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what was the name of the school you went to when you were young? Um. Web school, oil, government school. Ooh. And there's only one in town. Is that where KIC used to be? Mm hmm Oh. Up on Dearmont. Mm hmm Oh, and that was the day school? You would come home every every <coughs> afternoon. It was not a boarding school, right? No. 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 Okay. Um, I should say I'm saying no. I what would I say? Was it ein? Ein. ein. Okay. Ein means no. Yeah. It reminds me of German. <laughs> yeah. Well, I used to. My, the way my mom used to say it to me, I would jump, <laughs> and it remind me of um, German. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, who were the leaders of the Simshan community when you were a little girl? Who were the leaders? Who were, who were the people that the Simshan people looked up to in your day? Well, um, Paul Mather and Casper Mather and uh, Guthrie, Alec Guthrie and Bob. The now, most. Mm -hmm. now, were they all affiliated with the church? Were they church elders? Yes. Mm, yeah. Did they help out the people in those days? Yes. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Um, have you ever? Okay. Um, tell me some stories about um, about um, about when you were going to school. Um, did they, did in your school, did you guys speak English or Simshan? <laughs> <laughs> did they, what language did they tell you to use in school? Hmm. Simshan way of saying English? <laughs> I don't know what they call uh, English. English. Yeah, I never thought Unless of that. Unless it's Ang Chiwa. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably what. Okay. How do you feel about passing on the Simshan language to the younger generations? Look, well, I am. It's good, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. And why is it important for the younger generations to learn Simshan? What will the young kids get out of it? 
It's hard to explain. Um, the muscle, the muscle, the their family or something like that. That's hard. Oh, and what does that mean? Uh, like I'm doing to you now, it's telling you, you know, yeah. they'll pass it on to you. They're teaching it. They're mm -hmm. teaching me. Yeah. And by you, by using it, and then I'll learn by listening it, mm -hmm. the, by this experience. That's a, well, the nearest thing. Yeah. Um, it, I noticed I've taken some Shen language classes, and I'm kind of getting the impression that when you say something in Simshan, that it has a, a more, um, it means more. The meaning is always seems to mean more. Or when it's funny, it's funnier. <laughs> <laughs> I get that impression. Uh -huh. And that's what I'm getting the impression. Maybe that's what I'm losing out on. <laughs> yeah. Did your school support or discourage the use of the native languages? Um, I could hear Shah from Haina Simsian word. They don't want us to, in other words, uh, no. They prefer that everybody use some, sh I mean, no English in communicating? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For, for one thing, that's why you go to school, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> U.S. government don't run on the some language, do they? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 It's okay. It's true, though. <laughs> How do you say in some it's true, or that's the truth? Absham how? Oh. <laughs> Absham how? That's true. Yeah. Okay. Um. What effect? Okay. Um. Your experience going to school. What effect did that have on your life? Was uh going to school? Did that um, have a good impact on your life? Getting an education, or was it the other way around? Um, yes. How can I answer that? Well, oh, uh, some people's, um, um, experience from, from public school, they say that it, they didn't have a good experience, but uh, most people believe that when they went to school that that set a foundation for learning um, for their life, and they believe that education is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so going to school, learning to read and write is that's important. Yeah. 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 Okay. Tell me about uh, growing up in Ketchikan. What was it like a long time ago? It's kind of. We do things. Just, you, you have it going again? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, the question is, um, can you tell me about growing up in Ketchikan? What was it like back then? To me, it's the same as any other teenager. Uh -huh. What did teenagers do? back then? For fun. <laughs> Actually, nothing. <laughs> where, did you, where did you go to dances, or you just stay home? Later on, there was dancing, milk. That's oh. what they call dancing. Oh! Where did you dance at? It was me, I'll go. <laughs> oh, what does that mean? I'm going to dance? I'm, I'm dancing. Oh! <laughs> that sounds kind of pretty. Mailgum sounds like sing-song. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
<laughs> Where did you go to dance at? Was there a dance hall? Oh, by PAC. Oh, is that the same that they called the Muksh? Yeah. Same? Okay, okay. What kind of music did you guys listen to you to in your day? That's a good one. What kind of music? <laughs> it's, um, it was by Al, Oscar, and, um, Ray Haldane, and, you know, Ooh. they have their own Lipsku, uh, orchestra, Sim Shen. Oh, it was Sim Shen had their own orchestra, oh, otherwise. You didn't use the records then, huh? No. Oh, see? Oh, wow. First class. Fancy. <laughs> wow. Gee, that will cost you lots of money today. <laughs> it's That's true. Sure. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You must have been seeing about Larry. Oh, who's Larry? He's a... Uh, one of the musicians with the orchestra. With the orchestra, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have an answer for him because, uh, but it shouldn't be in Simpson. Oh, this is later it. years yeah, he's talking is, about. Oh, okay. We're talking about long, long, long time ago mm -hmm. in Ketchikan. Yeah. Now I see that in the old pictures, there's pictures of. Um, it looks almost like muddy streets or wooden sidewalks. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Huh. What kind of stores were there? Did uh, now we got big stores, but that wasn't the same then, was it? No. Mostly, you have to answer English, English in that. That's right. Yeah. I think so too. Store is a store, you know. It's Tatsuda, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Tatsuda. Yeah. Okay. Oh, did you ever um, live in other towns while you were growing up? Um, you know, did you move around to other towns like Anchorage or Seattle? Or you always did you always live in Ketchikan? Ketchikan will you. That's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. That's about the you only always, answer you there. You always lived in Ketchikan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, some people they. You know, they'll try their luck at living in the lower 48. <laughs> and they always come home, don't they? <laughs> Can you recall some of the uh, childhood adventures you had when you were young? Some real, um, you know, adventures, uh, stories you would tell your grandchildren about, you know, the, the exciting things that you used to do or things that um, happened when you were young? No, I don't think there was any much excitement in my days. We were all slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've heard stories about my mom tells me that her and um, Charlotte, no, no, no um, Sarah Peel used to sneak skiffs from the dock and uh, roll over to Metlakatla. <laughs> And Sarah tells me about a little canoe her stepfather made for her, and they went way out in the ocean, and some fishermen had to bring them back. <laughs> yeah, things like that, you know, like kids do. Yeah. Yeah. Or uh, my mom talks about sometimes, not always, but sometimes she used to use her offering money for church, and her and Sarah would go ice skating or roller skating. I forget which. <laughs> And buy candy. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Kids, are, they're always uh, up to something. <laughs> How about children's games in general? What kind of games did they play? Like in our, our growing up, we had skip roping jump, yeah. hopscotch. We invented games. Okay. The world you will name, uh, the Mkoshkoshkoshim. All we know is to jump around. Oh, that sounds like my son. <laughs> 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 well, he does. He will wear a hole in your carpet. <laughs> Sometimes a 
worries me. I think of those caged elephants in the zoo. <laughs> like, oh, my son's got to get out. <laughs> but he doesn't want to go out. It's too cold, yeah. <laughs> um, is there anything that you would like to talk about, your special interests or hobbies or concerns you have about the younger generations today? My hobby. Yeah. I don't remember having a hobby. Do you mm -hmm. knit? Hmm? Do you knit? No. Oh, who made that uh, afghan behind you? Um, the old lady, Mrs. Inneman. Oh, wow. Her shachter moved them to a lady together in a clan, and she wants people to know, like what you're asking me, who gave you that? She wants that for proof that I am a real eagle. Oh, that's she wonderful. That. And, and that pillow. Behind oh, my coat. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I always know, notice handiwork. Yeah, yeah, she's an old lady. Wow. Well, it's special. I think a lot of people, especially younger generations, don't notice um, things that are made by hand. Yeah. Yeah, but I always notice I have a sister who knits. Uh-huh. Yeah. <gasps> oh, my gosh. You're showing up for the camera. Isn't oh, that it feels wonderful. It just uh -huh. feels the... Is that felt? Here, I'm going to show it for the camera. And look at this. Are these starfish or stars? Right here. Star. Okay. Star. That's How do you beautiful. make it go down? Oh, here, I'll hold it up first. I want to see it for the camera. See okay, that? Okay, bring it down just a little. Okay. Right there. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? It's yeah. green and then purple on the other side. And it's felt. It feels wonderful. That's You should have that up on the wall. It's the other part over there. Oh, yeah. And did she do the beadwork? Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. And, too, you know, um, do you do beadwork? I uh, used to. Oh, yeah, because you... Not much. Because automatically I feel for the tightness of the strings. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that was really nice. How about yeah, is when you were growing important. up, did you... Were you required to do anything in the way of basketry, weaving, or gathering? Like they do now? No. No. no, it's just your generation is the one that's bringing up all this, you know. Yeah, it's true. I never did. Uh, I don't know why. Well, you know, my uh, mother tells me that uh, when she was going to school up at the Indian school, they thought they would teach the young girls how to weave baskets. At one time they got this idea, and her father got very angry with the school people and said, no, these girls need to learn modern day things and not the old day things, you know. And so he put his foot down on the basket weaving, yeah, said they have to go on with the modern day, not, you know, not uh, continue. So uh, that was uh, what my mom told me from what my grandfather said, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they all know how to do it, though. Yeah, my grandmother did, mm -hmm. but uh, my mom wouldn't, he didn't want my mom or the girls to learn it. He didn't want them spending their days weaving baskets. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Maybe he thought they would be locked into a, one career. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right, though. That's how it is. That's exactly how it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think accounts for um, the younger generations wanting to drum up all those old activities, carving, basket weaving, stuff like that? I think it's wonderful. Look at Lamb. That's good. Yeah. Because uh, it'll be just lost if you don't. Mm -hmm. That's how we feel about it. We feel that if. Um, if it's gone and if we let it go, it's too much to lose. It's too mm -hmm. much to accept. And so there's only one answer to that problem is to practice, you know, take mm -hmm. the class and practice and actually make things. Yeah, it's a, too much of a loss. It's a heartbreaking loss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just too much to let go and we, we don't do anything. 
them. It's our fault. <laughs> So that's how come, I think that's how come we're almost driven, you know, it's almost a passion and almost driven that way. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, if uh, you could uh, teach uh, the younger generations today one lesson, um, what would that lesson be? What's important? What do you feel is important for the younger people of this generation to know? If you'd like to teach us one thing, what would it be? Um. <clears throat> their language, Simpson language. The language, yeah. Yeah. That's good. My mom was telling me that um, when she would be taking care of some relatives who were sick or in the hospital, that um, sometimes they would be speaking in the in the Simshan. And uh, if there were people there who couldn't understand, they wouldn't know what they were saying. So, um, and she would also pray with them in mm -hmm. Simshan, and um, that meant she could tell with her relatives it meant much more to hear it in Simshan. Yeah, but um, at that point, at such a critical time in um, someone's life, that was um, the language, you know, for their ears. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, and that's a, that means a lot to me and the younger generations, you know. But we want to, um, we want to learn to speak it, though, you know. But, uh, it's hard work. It's really hard to learn it. Yeah, I've been taking classes for what, going on three years now, and it's uh, really hard. We have to, I think, practice daily, or we lose it. Yeah. It's not too hard if you're <clears throat> like myself. I could go right on and talk since then, but the way it is. You know, yeah. looking at a paper, oh. get your mind off. It you does. It's a, it's a distraction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we're all through with all those questions now, so we could just chat and talk any any you know about anything you feel like you want to talk about. You know, is there you know anything anything you want to talk about? You know, one thing I noticed from my mom is that she likes to talk about at Christmas time about how the the church used to sing, the chorus used to sing um, some Christmas songs at Christmas time, uh -huh. and she misses that. I've heard other people say they miss the singing at Christmas, uh -huh. um, like Christmas chants or something. Yeah. Yeah. What was that like? Oh, it was, uh, you really know it's Christmas then, you know. Yeah. yeah. It had a big, big uh, thing to do with the Christmas time. Um, with the way they celebrated Christmas back then, was it more, you guys were more involved and it seemed more special, there's a lot more meaning? Yes, they have, everybody goes to church and, yeah. and uh, have programs. Well, what kind of programs? Well, uh, Christmas programs. Uh -huh. And of these were were of the programs were they uh, Christmas uh, songs or were they plays? Play. Oh, mm -hmm. so that would be about uh, the baby Jesus being mm -hmm. born. Oh. Yeah. Now, were you ever in a program? No. Uh huh. No. No, but uh, my sons were. Oh, what characters did they play? <laughs> they got tired of. <laughs> 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 what kind did they did they always have to be the shepherds? <laughs> <laughs> no, but my oldest son said, Oh I don't wanna be Joseph this year. Oh, you know, that yeah. means he wants out. Oh. But they have real nice programs like that. Yeah. I think we could do this. <laughs> Just simple phrases that we might ask. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's ask, let's ask them again. Um, how do you say, um, I want to pick berries in Simshan for the tape recorder? Well, I shout them shimei. I want to go pick berries. Okay, I'm going to try to say that. I shout them shimei. Shimei. Is that, is that close? <laughs> mm -hmm. I want to pick oh, berries. Oh, okay. How do you say in Simshan, um, like if I want to wake up my little boy, how would you say, um, wake up? Dachskin. <gasps> oh, 
Wake up. She doesn't. Wake up. How about how about wake up right now and go to school? Inkinit can let them school. Oh. Yeah. How about get up now? You're going to school. Yeah. That sounds real good. <laughs> I have to return this over. This is already used up on.